Hello and welcome to Thursdays with Annette. We're in the kitchen, of course. It's my favourite happy place and I'm thinking winter, what do you need? You need some soup. And I'm going to make for you one of the really easy soup recipes out of, it's out of cooking for one or two. It's also in book six, um, but I'm making the smaller version because it's just, I want to show you how quick and easy it is to make soup. It's the hearty veggie soup. It is one of my favorite soups. And I thought, you know, sometimes people when they're just on their own or there's just two of you think, oh, I'm not making a big batch of soup. This is gonna serve four serves. So you can have it twice each if you're a couple or four nights, but it freezes really well. Okay, so when you think about this soup, um, the ingredients we need for it are onion, pumpkin, and I'm using Kent pumpkin. I really favor that with cooking. We've got some sweet potato, carrots, garlic, ginger, some stock powder. Now the flavours that really make this really yum is coriander, cumin and Cajun seasoning. We're also going to put a litre of water in. I've got some frozen cord, I've got some chickpeas and I'll tell you if you don't want chickpeas how you can change it and I've got my rice bran spray. So I'm actually going to use my wok to make this soup in mainly because I want you to be able to see it. If I use my boiler, which is this one here, you're not going to see anything at all, but I may use it in the end because you've got to zhuzh it up. But I'll show, talk about that later anyway. But here we go, hearty veggie soup. And look at, the, look at those beautiful soups that are with it. You've got pumpkin soup, Mexicana soup, and the creamy roasted vegetable soup. But the healthy veggie soup is the one we're making today. But look at that, bowls of fabulousness. And as I said, it is in book six and it serves eight, but today what I'm making is serves four. Now, if you want to win either Cooking One or Two or book six, find out at the end of the show how you do that. But I will announce the winners each week on Thursday morning. So have a look at that in the Simply Too Good page. So basically all we could do is chop up. That's right. So let's get started. So I want half a cup of diced onion. And as I said, this is enough for four serves. And I just think that you shouldn't use the fact that if you're just on your own or there's just the two of you that you can't be bothered because really it's not a hard soup to make and it's so good for you. It's so nurturing on these cold nights. So half a cup of onion, that's it. I'll put that just there. Now we're going to then just uh, peel the pumpkin. And I like the Kent because I find the skin's not so hard to get off. But I find it a, just a sweeter and more colourful pumpkin. Uh, there's nothing worse. If you don't see the pumpkin is bright and orange, don't buy it because it'll be lacking in flavour. So we're going to dice it. And you can just roughly dice it because it's just going into the pot and you're going to be cooking it all together. So I just cut it into strips and then small dice. This is the great thing about soup like this. Because it gets all mashed up at the end, you don't have to be like pristine about how the chopping looks. Like if it's like a soup that has you know, you see all the dice bits, you might want to do it a bit more carefully, but in this one, it's we're just going to chuck it all in the pot and we're going to cook it. All right, so there's 250 grams and I've, then you peel it, okay? 250 of sweet potato and we'll just get my peeler onto that. So you weigh it with the skin on and then peel it. Now with the carrots, um, it says to peel them, but look, they're such nice looking carrots that I'm not even going to bother because they look so good. And uh, why not get all those extra nutrients that are in that skin or under the skin? So, and I don't have to peel it. So it's another job that we don't have to worry about. And we're using the orange sweet potato. So it's got all these beautiful um, flavours that I think just make this soup exceptional. Once again, go down and slice it into strips. 
and dice. I mean, soup is such a nurturing food, but it's also packed with lots of vitamins and minerals because, you know, you're getting so much of vegetables in soup and uh, you've just got to allow some time for it to cook in the pot. Now, this one in particular, it only takes about 30 minutes to cook it. So it's not like a long drawn out soup. Okay, carrots, 250 grams. Just take the end bit off, just throw that away. And we're gonna slice. I don't know about you, but I love soup all year round. I don't keep soup just for winter. All right, that's all the hard work done. <laughs> now I've used some frozen corn in this, but you could use fresh if you wanted. Um, and you don't add the corn or the chickpeas till the very, very end. So in this first part, we're just gonna cook it and then we'll come back, cause you're not gonna, we're not gonna stand here for 30 minutes, are we? <laughs> and we'll finish it off and I'll show you how you use them then. All right, so we're going to now, cooking spray and I'm using the rice bran because that's the really good one for the for the uh, Neoflam product and I'm going to put in a teaspoon of ginger and garlic now you can use fresh if you want I'm just using it the easy way because you know that's what I like and I don't know but homemade soup is so much better I believe so much better than the packets or the cans. In goes the onion and we're just going to cook that off just for a couple of minutes just to seal the onion and get those beautiful garlic and ginger infused and then what we're going to do is we're going to put in the spices. So we want a teaspoon of each. So we want coriander, teaspoon. These are all dried, of course, and, and powdered. You've got your cumin. And Cajun. And this will just give it a bit of spice. Teaspoon. All right, so let's just cook off those uh, her, uh, the seasonings in the pan just for like 30 seconds. There you go. And now what we're going to do is we're going to add in a litre of water. There you go. Oh my gosh, I just can smell it. It's so good. And then we're going to put in one and a half teaspoons of vegetable stock powder. One and a half. There we go. I mean, this is so easy, isn't it? And then in go the veggies. Carrots, sweet potato, pumpkin. Look at that. Just beautiful. Mm -mm -mm. Now, what you're going to do with this is you're going to then bring it to the boil and then you're going to do a slow boil for 30 minutes or until the carrots are soft. The others will get cooked all right, but it's the carrot because we're going to blend it up so it's a smooth soup and you don't want chunks of raw carrot in there. So it's important that the actual carrots are tested and if they're soft, then you're ready for the stage two. All right, so look, I think I'll let this boil, get bring up to boil 30 minutes. I'm going to be back with the finished when it's ready to finish it off and I'll show you how amazing this soup is at the end. So I'll see you soon. So welcome back, it's 30 minutes. I've actually took it out, the mixture out of the wok and I've put it in the boiler because I'm going to now zhuzh it with my um, stick blender and I thought it would splatter everywhere. And normally soups are made in a boiler like this. So I'm just gonna now zhuzh it. Oh, see, it flicks everywhere. 
and just go around and mash up the carrots, the pumpkin, the sweet potato. So just take your time. It's important that you do um, mash it up though because that's the type of dish it is. And I'm going around like this because if I move it around it just splatters everywhere. Well, it's looking good. Nearly done. So what is this if you, you're just coming in now? Well it's my healthy veggie soup. Alright. Good. What I might do now is I'm going to pour it back into the wok. I know, normally you wouldn't do this of course but it's because of the show I want to show you. So there's the soup. Let's scrape it all out. It's enough for four. Alright so let's put that over here. I'm going to put it back to cook. There we go. And then this is where you add in the final two ingredients. You put in half a cup of the frozen corn because I love a bit of texture in soup um, and that's why I like to add things like this. And then we've got two thirds of a cup of chickpeas. Now if you're not a fan of chickpeas, and I drained them, but if you're, whoop, whoop, if you're not a fan, then you could swap it for white beans, which is very nice. And you bring it to the boil, which it has. Now the corn is actually cooked, so you don't have to worry with that. And I'm just going to serve up my soup. Remember, this is for four. And I would serve it with some uh, grain bread, you know, toast for sure. There we go. There's my soup. A bit fabulous. It's a very easy soup. All you do is chop up your veggies, cook it all off, 30 minutes, zhuzh it up and then add the final two ingredients. And that is your beautiful soup to enjoy on these cold winter days. So this is out of book six, but today I made it out of cooking for a two because I made four serves and it freezes really well. 1.6 grams of fat a serve. It's also gluten free, dairy free and vegan. So it's going to fit a lot of happy people. Now if you'd like to win the books, you can choose between either Cooking Fun or Two or Book Six. You just got to like, share and in the comments just do hashtag simply too good. You know how to do it with the Y and the two and I'll pick three fantastic winners and I'll announce it in the Thursday morning on the um, page. Now next week's show I'm going to be making a fantastic dish. It's love in a bowl. It's my chicken pesto pasta. It's from book five. It is fabulous because I'm going to show you how easy it is to make a low fat pesto paste. I know, get excited. But at, at, for now it's all about this hearty beautiful soup. I mean who knew weight loss could be so deliciously healthy even in the cold winter months. So just go to simplytogood.com.au for more tips and recipes and I'll see you next week with my fantastic chicken pesto pasta recipe. Thanks for joining me for another gorgeous week and I'll see you soon. Bye.